Hey, hey, everybody. I hope you're doing well today. This is Brad Cartwright with Econ Course Companion. And today we're going to take a look at how to show profit levels in a monopoly, something that's very, very critical and something that actually the IB empowers you to do. And that's what I want you to remember. The IB says to you, hey, student, can you show profit, an abnormal profit in monopoly? Can you show normal profit? Can you show a loss? Those are the questions you get. You're going to have to analyze the diagram. You're going to have to evaluate whether a monopoly is a good thing or a bad thing based on a comparison to another market structure. But ultimately, you need to be able to show these levels of profit. Okay? And they're, they're, it's actually quite easy after you get a hold of what the actual diagram looks like. And I've created this notion of a base diagram that I think is going to be super helpful. So take a look. All right, no matter the level of profit that the IB asks you to show, whether it's abnormal profits, losses, or normal profits, you start with this base diagram. This base diagram is your best friend when it comes to showing profit levels in monopolies, in monopolistic competition, and in oligopoly. Okay, with a little bit of a caveat with this kink demand curve, which we'll get to later. All right, so what does that mean? Well, when you go to show any profit level in Monopoly, you don't even have to look to see whether it's abnormal, normal, or at loss. Not yet. The first thing you do on the question is you sit down and you go, oh, cool, I just got to draw the base diagram. Well, what's the base diagram? Well, because a Monopoly is a price maker's market, where they get to pick their price, they're going to have a downward sloping curve. So here's the demand curve, and remember, demand always equals average revenue. And then you're going to draw a marginal revenue curve that has a slope that's twice as, twice as steep as the average revenue curve because of the relationship between marginal revenue and average revenue. If you don't understand that, check out earlier videos, okay? Then you come back and you draw your marginal cost curve. Boom, there it is. Then what? You back off and you go, you know what? I need to find my profit max maximizing level of output. And that is always in the same place, my friends. It's always where MC equals MR. And let me tell you something. This marginal cost curve, this is the most important curve on this diagram. It is your best friend. It is what's going to give you the answers <laughs> to efficiency, both productively and allocatively. Just hang on, man. This curve is what tells you your answers, okay? In this case, the marginal cost curve is going to show you where the profit maximizing level of output exists for this monopoly. It's always where MC equals MR right here, Q. Why? Dude, it's easy. Just look at the diagram. Here, if this level of output, any output level below Q, they're going to make it for this cost and they're going to sell it for that price. So per unit or every unit of output that exists before these two lines intersect, the firm is going to be making um, a more revenue than it costs them to make the unit of output. At Q, this is where they equal. So the cost of making the next unit of output, the marginal cost, equals the marginal revenue, the, the revenue they gained on that sale of that one extra unit of output. Beyond that, guess what? Well, just look at the graphs, man. Marginal revenue is here. So to make anything beyond Q, this firm, it's going to cost them more to make it than it is for them, than what they'll make when they sell it, okay? So this diagram right here, just stop. This is the base diagram. And you what you do now is you take this quantity level, you move it up to price, up to the demand curve, the average revenue curve, and go over there. So this price-quantity combination is the price-quantity combination that will enable the firm to maximize its profits as long as its costs, average costs, are below P, they'll make profit. If their average cost is equal to P, guess what? They will make normal profit. And if their average cost at this level of output, where MC equals MR, if their average costs are above price, holy moly, folks, of course, they're going to make a loss. All right? So let's take a look at each one of those scenarios. In each of the following three slides, you're going to see the base diagram plus the addition of the average cost curve showing the level of profit that you might need to show in a question on the IB exam. Check it out. Okay, so imagine if you're asked to show normal, abnormal profit in Monopoly. What do you start with? Boom, base diagram, right? Price, cost, output, demand curve equals average revenue curve, marginal revenue curve. Draw that. It descends at twice the rate. Then, boom, 
Do your MC curve. Cool. Now, MC equals MR is where they're going to have the most likely chance of maximizing their profits. Take that quantity up to P. Boom. Back off. Now what? Well, look at the question. What's the question? Oh, it's about abnormal profit. Oh, okay. So if I have this curve already drawn, all I need to do to show abnormal profits is make sure that my average cost curve crosses over this level of quantity at a price at a level below price. Oh, right there. Oh, yeah, kind of like this. Well, that's not hard. That makes sense, right? If this is the profit maximizing level of output, Q, and I have an average cost curve that's coming down here. By the way, this could also be the average total cost curve. Same curve. But if I have an average cost curve that's drawn like this, where it intersects this level of outputs, that's saying that at this level of output, all of my costs are covered at the, the cost at C, which means that for every product that I sell, this quantity that I sell above, at a price above C, I make abnormal profits. Ah, oh, check it out. There it is. It's super easy, my friends. Right? It's really easy once you get it going. So now, but the key point is, and this is what you, where you can really screw up your diagrams. See this average cost curve? It bottoms out right there. This is the lowest point of that curve. Okay? But that's not the point where you're going to show abnormal profits. No, because it's at this quantity level extended up to P that tells you where they cover their average costs. Okay? So there's abnormal, call, abnormal profits, P, A, B, C. How'd you get there? You drew this diagram which is gonna be the same for all profit levels. And then you just made sure that your average cost curve intersected this level of quantity, the profit maximizing level of quantity below price or below point A. Boom, there it is. Now, well, what if the IB says, okay, dude, well, that's great. Why don't you show a loss in Monopoly? What do you do? You chill, you go, oh, I got this, right? Because it doesn't matter if it's loss, abnormal profit or normal profit because the base diagram, Base diagram's the same. Here it is. Doom. Ready? Draw your demand curve. Average revenue. Well, first of all, draw your axes. Label them properly. Boom, boom. With the zero, with output, with price and cost. Draw your demand curve, equaling average revenue. Then your marginal revenue, you're descending at twice the rate and, and extending beyond zero. Right? Then come back. Draw your marginal cost curve. Then what? The quantity, maximizing level of quantity, this key quantity, where is that? Oh, yeah, of course. It's always where marginal cost equals marginal revenue. Then extend that up to price. Like that, boom, there you go. You know now, what are they, you know now that if you draw this average cost curve where it intersects below that, you have abnormal profits. Above that, you're gonna have a loss. At that, you're gonna have normal profits. So this is getting easy. This is getting super easy. Of course it is, okay? So, but they said loss. Ah, okay, so, bam, look over here. What do you got? You have an average cost curve that its lowest point is on the marginal cost curve. That's the only place you can screw up, okay? There's average cost or average total cost, same thing. Then come back to the profit maximizing quantity and where this quantity level hits the average cost curve, boom, that is where they produce. That's where they begin to cover all their costs. This is their break even point, by the way. Well, they don't break even, why? Because the price they're getting for their product is P and they, and it costs them C in order to make it. So these fools are losing money, right? This monopoly is losing money. So there you have it. That is the loss the, the, proxy, the profit level of loss in Monopoly. There it is. Hey, by the way, folks, the diagram for monopolistic competition to show a loss is exactly the same. Just a little foreshadowing. All right, so you got that? All right, cool. There's one other scenario. It's called normal profit in Monopoly. Hey, there it is. So... What did we do that's different? Nothing except that Jocelyn Blink, for whatever reason, changed the colors of her <laughs> changed the colors of her curves. I don't know why. Okay, these curves, these these diagrams are excellent. They're right from Jocelyn Blink's excellent course companion. But where do we get this? Oh, guess what? Oh, they want a monopoly, and they're asking some question about profit. It doesn't matter if it's normal loss or abnormal profit. You draw this base diagram. What is that? Boom. Axes, price, cost, output, demand curve equaling average revenue, marginal revenue curve descending twice the rate, marginal cost curve going up. Find the profit maximizing level of Q. Take that up to P. Boom. You're done. Now back off. What am I supposed to show? Now look back at the question. What am I supposed to show? Oh, they want normal profit. Oh, that's fine. That means that they're the, in normal profit, that means that at this price level, right here, they cover their costs. That's the break-even point. How do I show that? Oh, that's easy. I just take an average cost curve and I draw it. 
Make sure the lowest point's at the marginal cost curve. But it's a tangential point right there. Wow, check it out. So at the very point where they're selling their product, at the price point where they're selling quantity Q, they're actually covering their costs. Hey, folks, that's normal profit. You just did it. You just showed all three levels of profit in a monopoly. Abnormal profit, loss, and normal profit. And by the way, it's the same thing for monopolistic competition, as I said earlier. Okay? So the key here is this base diagram. The key here, as I say to all of my students here in Santiago, is like, listen, you, need to, you, need, you can't remember and memorize all the diagrams in IB economics. It's not possible. You're not worthy. None of us are. What you need to do is reduce them down to get an understanding of what the base diagram is underneath it, and then remember that. And if you remember that, these are three different diagrams, but really they're just one diagram where you draw the last curve, the average cost curve, or the average total cost curve, same curve, in a different spot. And if you know this, you already know how to draw the profit diagrams in monopolistic competition. And with the exception of this notion, this, this theory about a kink demand curve in oligopoly, you understand it in oligopoly as well. So like you're set. But what you have to do is you have to remember to reduce the things down, to make them as simple as possible, and then you'll see in economics it gets really logical. And the reason it gets really logical is we all have the intuitive knowledge of understanding these diagrams because we know that we're not really making any money until our costs are covered. And if we cover our costs at a, at a price point that's less than what it costs us to do it, in other words, if we sell pizza and it costs, 50, costs us five bucks, five dollars to produce a pizza, and we sell it for eight, we know intuitively that, wow, we just made $3 per pizza. Yeah, well, that's all those diagrams are showing. If we sell, if our costs are $8 and we sell the pizza for $8, <laughs> we made normal profit. We covered our costs. That's our break-even point. So normal profit levels and break-even point are the same point. But if we make our pizza for $10 and we sell it for 8 <laughs> we know that we're going to make a loss. So how would you show that on a curve? Well, we just did. All right? So listen, my friends, reduce things down to simple, 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 as much as you possibly can. I hope that's what Econ Course Companion gives to you, is an ability to go back to these things over and over again, because the whole idea of Econ Course Companion is it is your companion throughout your whole two-year course of study. All right, my friends, take care of yourselves. Be kind to one another. I hope this video was helpful, and we'll talk to you in a bit.